Hey guys, welcome to Disney Plus's Loki. So this is a Disney Plus original. Before you even ask, yes, we've seen WandaVision. We loved it. We've seen, seen Falcon and the Winter Soldier. We, we loved, loved it. it. So that's why we're like, oh, um, this has to be good. This has to be good, right? Because those first two were really good. Mm -hmm. So let's do Loki on YouTube since Invincible is ending anyway, and we need another show we need for the channel. Too, anyway, so, so why not? Why not? Yeah. So this takes place after Endgame, mm -hmm. right? I'm pretty sure all of you have seen it. It was when the Avengers went back in time to the first Avengers movie. They dropped the Tesseract and then Loki, Loki scooped, scooped it up. It he up. teleported and then that was it for him. And, and that's where we're going to see him here. Yeah. So anyways, with that being said, let's go on this episode. Who are these guys? It appears to be a standard sequence violation. Variant identified. Variant? I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Hands up. Oh, because he's not You're coming with us. the real one? I'm sorry. He exists because the Avengers time travel? Uh, the real Loki is dead. It's been a very long day. Oh. That's awful. So it's as if he this never, never got happened. here? This never happened. Oh, nice. Convenient. Oh, I know this guy. He's gonna be in Joe Coy's film. Can you tell me what it is? It's Filipino. Did he say it sounds dumb? This is fine as guardian leather. There's your as guardian leather. Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. What? what? That's a lot. New, new paperwork. What? Sign this too. See <laughs> what? <laughs> what now? Please confirm to your knowledge that you are not a fully robotic being. You were born an organic creature and do, in fact, possess what many cultures would call a soul. A soul? To my knowledge. <laughs> do a lot of people not know if they're robots? But if I was a robot, I didn't know it. The machine would melt you from the inside out. Please hold it. Oh my God! Oh, that's great. That explains the, the splatter. Blood, the splatter. Take a ticket. What is this, Delhi? No. Take a ticket. So what happens to the guy that that didn't take a ticket? Stepping off your path created a nexus event, which left unchecked could branch off into madness, leading to another. Sounds like Flashpoint, movie. right? That guy didn't give me a ticket. I tried to ask for one. Sir. I tried to ask that guy for a ticket. No, you didn't. You didn't take one. Oh! That's what happens when you don't take a Two ticket. 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 Get your ticket. Don't hesitate to let us know how we're doing. <laughs> He's just like, I got mine. What happened to that guy? Was he just erased, erased from, from existence? So what's gonna happen to Loki if that's not the case then? He'll move on. I guess because that guy earlier is just variants anyway. Like, who cares? Oh, oh. cool. Whoa, who's that? Right? That looks like a devil. Krampus? Guilty of being the god of mischief, yes. Guilty of finding all this incredibly tedious, yes. Guilty of a god or not, they don't give a shit. They're timekeepers. The uh -huh. Timeline. And they're oh, kind of really? above and you. who should we have? I suspect the Avengers. I deal with a task force and resources, and I could return and eliminate them for you. <laughs> we don't even talk about the Avengers. Oh no. No. What they did was supposed to happen. You escaping. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, they saved the universe. Okay. All of this. You have no okay. powers. Yep. But you ridiculous bureaucrat will not dictate how my story ends. It's not your story, Mr. Lauberson. It never was. It's Feige's story, bro. <laughs> what I'm capable of. If you're thinking what I think you're thinking, it's a bad idea. Oh, I think I know what's going on. Anything goes sideways. They're gonna use him to figure out what happened in whatever era he was in. So Loki's gonna fight the devil? 
Yeah, I guess. Remember how Loki said he'll, he wants a task force? Well, he'll be their task force. It's hard to say, you know, time passes differently here in the TVA. How does that mean? Is it faster Simple here? Slower? TVA is courageous and dedicated. That's what the caller's for. Time moves differently in the TVA. Like, his powers don't exist here, and the caller keeps him in a check. Get into this. So unless you have that remote. Yeah. Once Loki gets a hold of that remote, good luck. Right? I specialize in the pursuit of dangerous variants, like myself. No particularly dangerous variants. You're just a little pussy cat. <laughs> oh! I got a set of questions for you. Damn. You answer them honestly, and then space. Space is big. It'd be a nice feather in your cap. Loki, the king of space. <laughs> Fuck me. <laughs> I'm not. King of space. I'm actually a fan. On the verge of acquiring everything I am owed. And when I do, it'll be because I did it. Not because it was supposed to happen. Time, variance, or He can't accept the fact that yourselves. there's Allow somebody higher than him. Mm -hmm. Honestly, that controls everything. In irrelevance. If you hadn't picked up the Tesseract, you would have been taken to a cell on Asgard. This, he has that's no idea. Yeah, happen. that's what's supposed to happen. Okay. And then the Dark Elves attack the palace. And you think you send them to Thor. You Thor, the Dark the World? Instead, you send them. Oh, never tell. <laughs> you got your mom killed. Where do you have her? Where is she? Dead. Lead them right to her. Because it's supposed to. Because it has to. TVA, like make flash. sure of it. Where is she? Now, why don't you tell me? Do you, you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? Oh! <laughs> I gotta say, out of all the Disney Plus shows, this has the best premiere. Because uh -huh. I'm immediately hooked. Careful, he might okay. take your thing. Yeah. Your remote. He has their good. I feel like he Earth. does. I know you. You're that criminal with the blue box. <laughs> with the blue box? Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? <laughs> I, know. I want to know exactly what I'm being threatened with before I comply. Death, Casey. <laughs> Wild, painful death. What else is in there? <gasps> what? Ooh. The Infinity Stones! Why are they here? We actually got a lot of those. Yeah, some of the guys use them as paperweights. Some of them. What the fuck? Are there a lot of like time variants that go here and they have infinity stones? Right, they somehow find them. And that's what yeah. goes up here. Is this the greatest power in the universe? Right, it's an office. <laughs> Can he even use a tesseract here? I know. The infinity stones are useless here. They're just paperweight. Yep, he missed this movie. Imagine he wants to change this. Yeah. Like, I'm gonna save my mother. Right. Prevent her from dying. Sounds like Flashpoint. I love you, my sons. Oh, right! He doesn't know about this too! Odin dying! In Thor Ragnarok! This is so cool how they oh, utilize yeah. the movies. Right? To show them what's supposed to happen. Yeah. It's like... And then he made a heroic sacrifice here too. <sighs> it must be rough watching yourself die. die. And you need the god of mischief to help you summon money. Mary, we're hunting is you. Huh? huh? What? Another one? So there's two Loki variants? Bro, the big bad is him? And he's also the hero? <laughs> he has to fight himself. Oh, that's why when the kid pointed the picture it had horns because that's Loki's costume. I'm just wondering which 
which timeline is he from? You know? Because the Loki we know is from 2012. How was this one created? Alright, so that was episode one of Loki. I gotta say, just like in the reaction I said earlier, I'm best hooked. season premiere out of all the MCU yeah. and Disney Plus shows. Because I feel like, um, for me, WandaVision kind of started out a little slow. For sure, it took a while. It took a minute for us to kind of get uh, interested in it. Getting used to the black and white was... Right? It was definitely a process. Yeah. I mean, we understood why it, it had, had to be like that, yeah. but at the same time, like you said, enjoy it, you know? it was a process. Yeah. And then uh, Winter, Winter Soldier, Soldier had like, definitely a better start, though, uh -huh. compared to WandaVision. Because that, we were still, we were already sort of invested. Like, we were curious, not yeah. necessarily invested and hooked. It was just kind of curiosity that made us want to keep going. Right here. And then figuring out that, oh, this story is going to be about Sam uh -huh. transitioning from Falcon to, to Captain America. Yeah. Right? Like, that's what had us yeah, for, 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 that, for show. that show. And then here, it's just like, okay, like, Loki trying to be a hero. And then mm -hmm. Loki finding out that, like, he's you know, villain. he's the villain in his own story, in a sense. Yeah. It's kind of like, all right. Like, I like I'm, this story. I'm interested. Like, I'm definitely interested. That's how his character's been, I feel like. He's always had, like, a hero side, but also his villain side kind of overshadows yeah. it. Yeah. Right? Because he helps the Avengers. Like, sure, he's been a villain, but he he's, has, he's not all bad. Yeah. Basically. Like, he has moments, I remember, in, in several movies where he's had yeah, to help like, Thor. So, we saw, we saw them that here. here yeah. I yeah. remember like him finding something for Thor or giving him some piece of advice or clue mm -hmm. or or just like so there like I said there are some moments where he has a good side he does things that are typically nice of somebody to do yeah right very generous of him I feel like that's always been a conflict within Loki the character like the good and then the bad always fighting Clash. for control because he was saying like um the the guy asked him like. Why do you like hurting people? Yeah, do you enjoy it? He doesn't. He doesn't. Right? And it's just the fact that he wants to seem like this all-powerful god and it's an illusion for, for them to seem like he's in control. And that's, I feel like, the same thing that's going on internally for him. Like, he wants to feel like this all-powerful god, thus he does all the villainous things. That's but, why this the plot of this show is mm -hmm. perfect. Because we got... A big bad Loki versus like a hero one. Yeah, one that's still trying to kind of figure out what yeah. he wants to do in a sense and kind of be that hero in his own story. Yeah. So I, I like it, especially because he saw what's supposed to happen. Yeah, that was my favorite part of the just the episode, just him figuring out like, damn, this is what this is the supposed path. to happen. Yeah. Like. Because of him, he got his mom killed. Uh -huh. He didn't even know his dad is gonna die. die yeah. And then, like, he died, you know? Right. And, like, it's cool because we've already seen it. And like I said, they're utilizing the, the movies, movies in such an amazing way. Yeah, and him, and then, like, just the face that you see in him. just Tom Hiddleston's performance? Tom Hiddleston, yeah, yep. like, him, He's like, so good. Loki figuring it out. Like, Loki understanding it all taking it all in absorbing it all in it's just like yeah. i love the acting because you could really feel like loki is like i said trying to get a grasp of the situation mm -hmm. and not try to be the person he was when he entered this was it tva 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 yeah, yeah. so i like i love it I also love how he's put in a place where he's powerless yes he thinks just because he's a god He's like above everybody else, right? Yeah. But this was like a reality check for him that there's something else above more powerful him. above you, even uh -huh. more powerful than the Infinity Stones themselves. Right? So it's like, it was a Which definitely that, a mind blown for yeah. him. Like that definitely put things more in perspective for him. Yeah. The fact that like the Tesseract and then the Infinity Stones are just paperweights. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're just a literal brick and stone 
those are the most sought after items in the MCU. And then they're just using they're it just as paperweight paperweights. Here. Like that's insane. Yeah. So again, like it just really puts things in perspective. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this episode and we'll see you guys in the next video.